You're such an asshole. All right, boys and girls, the old captain's going to talk about one of his favorite topics because this topic will... There, there's like three main areas that if you just do one of them right, you're going to have... I can't guarantee it, but the chances of you having good financial success defined as an adequately financed retirement increases dramatically. And that's school, housing, and cars. If you don't fuck up one of them, there's a good chance you'll have a pretty good retirement. Okay? <clears throat> so you don't buy a McMansion. You don't major in stupid shit. Now we're going to talk about cars. Hi, Aaron. I told him my 2005 Volkswagen Passat in an ice storm. Never buy a German again. No, th those German cars are way over-engineered. Bought it for $3,500 with $80,000 on it a year ago on Craigslist. I put a few thousand into it in unexpected repairs. Now the car is totaled as of recent, and the insurance company is only going to give me $2,500 because it was a salvage car before. Well, that's not bad because you got $2,500 out of $3,500. That's not bad at all. So I lost money on it. Stop right there. Were you expecting to make money on a car? Cars are an expense. You want to spend as little on it as possible. Ideally, you spend as much as I do on clothes. I go to Goodwill or I get hand-me-downs, even at the age of 42. It's great. I, I, I probably spend less than $100 a year on clothes. Um, so the car is the same thing. You are not going to make money on a car. All right. So let's all stop. Whoa, I didn't make money on it. You're not supposed to make money on it. It's like outside of college, it's, one of the, it's the largest expense you're going to have. Unless you do it my way. Um, and though I'm trying to be a minimalist on this, I feel as though there's nothing wrong with going to a CarMax and getting a three-year-old Toyota Camry for $15,000. <clears> it will last for a long time, and I'll have a reliable car for many years. So wouldn't it actually save me money in the long run? I will pay cash for it, by the way, so I can afford it. All right, stop here again. Well, you know what? Let's go through all of it. I have a lot of money saved and currently have no debts at a good job. I do drive a lot. What are your thoughts on this? Also, basic thoughts on CarMax. I don't know, never dealt with CarMax, but <clears throat> I didn't. They're dealers in general. Let's not single out CarMax. You're dealing with another layer of people that got to make money. So if you go to someone who is selling their car directly, uh, that's one less middleman. They're a middleman, and then your prices are going to go up. But. <clears throat> that being said, I found the past two cars I bought were through dealers, but the price was just right. So I would not necessarily rule them out. They give you a good deal, they give you a good deal. But CarMax, there's something about CarMax where, because I was going to sell my car to them and say, well, let's set up an appointment and we'll give you a free analysis. It just felt slimy. It just felt like, dude, this is fucking ghetto. Um, no, I don't, I don't want to. I just like I donated my car to um, to a charity my old used one so i i have uh the hair on the back of my neck goes up with carmax but then again don't let that rule you out with you know they might have a good car uh i don't want to buy a beater again though i know that's what you typically recommend and you're gonna pay for that advice even though you knew that's what i was gonna recommend i suppose i could give you the online market I can give the online market another try for this time. I won't, but a German car. Japanese economy shitbox is the way to go. Please let me know I need to pay. All right. Uh, that's not the worst deal I've ever heard. A three-year-old Toyota Camry. Well, how many miles is the other thing for 15000 15000 is way more than I'd pay, though. And I'm going to tell you what old Uncle Cappy does. I'm going to try and save you kids thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars so that you might have a good retirement. You go online, autotrader.com, carsoup.com, and then you put your range, your radius, to like the entire country. And you should be able through, you know, and it's going to take four hours. It took me four hours to find my most latest car. But after four hours of work, I found a car for $5,000 that had how many miles? 27,000 miles. 27,000 miles. All right? For $5,000. Now, it's not a nice car. The previous car I had was the Kia Rio, which I'd buy again in a fucking heartbeat. And I found one. I found another one that there was the exact same car. Exact same. 
over in Connecticut, $5,000, and I think it had like 20,000 miles. And I was thinking about flying out there and getting it, but then you gotta you gotta go take it in, have a have a, a, a mechanic look at it. There's other expenses with traveling, but the whole point is this: if you're willing to put the time and effort into researching online, finding a a low mileage, low price car, they're out there. Now you may have to drive to go get it. I had to drive to Iowa to get my most recent car. But that was fine because by the time you do the math you're getting paid it's not how much you're you're paying for the car it's how much you're saving you i, I have saved so you want to get your fifteen thousand dollar car i got one for five so it's ten grand now i did four hours of work four hours down four hours back up twelve hours ten thousand dollars it's oh that's what eight hundred dollars an hour i got paid eight hundred dollars an hour because i was willing to spend the time to research the country and drive down to get a car i also paid a, a mechanic to look at it all right just don't no don't don't spend you should be able to find easily easily within the united states you should be able to find a car for six thousand dollars or cheaper that has less than fifty thousand miles and i know don't go german I, i'll grant you that but I know you don't want, you know, you want your, your Japanese car. Dude, American cars are fine. The Korean cars, the Kias, the Hondas, those are fine too. Spend the fucking time, make yourself $800 an hour, and find yourself a good car somewhere in the country that you're willing to drive out, take a look at, have your mechanic buddy, road trip, whatever you got to do. $15,000 is way too much. i I'll never spend $15,000. Never. Never. <clears throat> and what you can do with the money you save, you can do the two, the dual. See, here's the other thing. $15,000, you got to pay insurance on that. You probably would want full coverage on it. Now you got another expense. My car, someone hits it, the fuck if I care. It's done. It's gone. Of course, I'm an excellent driver. But um, that, with that $15,000, let us say you find a car for $5,000. Right? You can get another piece of shit car. So in case your other piece of shit car goes down, you got a second car. It doesn't cost you any more on insurance because you can only drive one car at the same time. Look it up. Liability only insurance. I, I go through this in great detail. There is an entire chapter in my book called Bachelor Pad Economics dedicated to cars because it's that important. So whereas I know you got a $15,000 vehicle possibly, I know it's a Toyota, I know it's a, you can do a hell of a lot better if you're willing to put the effort online. Online! Imagine the day before where there wasn't the fucking internet. All right, that's all I know Captain got. If you got questions, the Captain's got answers over at assholeconsulting.com. Look at that. For your 35 bucks, I just saved you $10,000. Toodles.